How's everybody doing? All right, so decided raising my minimum rate to 199 instead of 149. A couple reasons. For one, all the jobs I've gotten for 149, you know, basic jobs, pretty much. I mean, I could have charged 199 and they probably would have accepted it uh, just because I was either Johnny on the spot or honestly, if it's, it's a little bit lower than I should have charged in the first place. So uh, charging 199 as far as my going rate for everything that's gonna put me out of the market for like say your basic installs like say hanging curtains um you know basic toilet uh remove and replace which is fine i mean those always end up like a couple of them that i've done like i've either not lost money but take me longer than i thought in the first place so um when you raise your, when i'm raising my prices i kind of look at you know what what am i pricing myself out of as far as market and then you know if it's something i would actually really want to do like 189 is a uh, decent tv mounting with you know say a low voltage included or um yeah that's basically it because larger tv mounting i'm not saying i'm charging you know mounting a 32 inch tv you know 200 dollars. it's not that's not really that's not market value. you can get that done for less than 100 bucks from you know any chuck in the truck uh you know four bolts into some studs and you're good to go so um, not looking, not looking to chase all those small TV mounting jobs or anything like that. I'm, I large TV mounting jobs, you know, larger, you know, easy low voltage work, you know, running kick coax stuff like that. So, raising my prices to 199 from a base, you know, just just to roll out to a job. Um, it's gonna for another thing. It's gonna basically not weed out, but it's gonna, you know, I can just kind of push away the customers that just want something really quick and easy. Um, basically, almost everything on next door is, you know, less than two hundred dollars. Not too many people are looking for uh, work that's over that, so I don't even. And I haven't had a, a next door referral that's actually panned out. Uh, probably almost all year. Last year I did a bunch of work, but um, there was a couple, you know, larger jobs, larger requests, and some people are just, you know, wanting handyman work done, you know, fifteen bucks an hour, stuff like, you know, not my not my pricing structure. Uh, it's not what I am looking uh, to do. That's that's not the my ideal customer. My ideal customer is going to be obviously above, um, you know, need something for a full day rate or even longer. Um, so I'm not looking to do a bunch of small small jobs. And again, you guys probably know like, well, you know, your 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 trailer says you know punch list and low voltage. Yes, I'm rebranding. I'm rebranding my business, doing everything. That's coming off. Everything's coming off. I'm not I haven't put. I haven't updated my website. I haven't done too much in the form of, is it raining? I don't know. Oh, anyway, sorry. Uh, haven't done too much in the form of social media just because I'm, you know, I'm going to save all that for my next, you know, you know, brand it, my next business, put all my effort into that. Not my next business, but the next business name, all that kind of stuff. So, yep, <sighs> working on uh, raising my prices and cutting out. I know I have cut out my direct TV. I've cut out. A couple other services that I've, I, you know, not, nobody really asked for in this area anyway. I don't do any snow removal. I don't do any landscaping. I don't. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like that that I don't do. So I've been, you know, taking those either tools out. I have been uh, going through. I've been listening to some of the like duplicate tools that I have that I really don't ever use. Uh, my my, you know, worm drives and Makita, you know, stuff like that. I have multiples of that. I got a great deal in the first place. That's why I had them. I'm not looking to build a second trailer and have a second crew. I don't think that's. Uh, that's not the direction I want to go in this business. I, I want to go into passive income, um, maybe you know get into a flipping house and stuff like that. But that's just me. I'm not looking to actually have a building. Even though I'm gonna get my builder's license, I'm not looking to actually build homes and have multiple crews running. That may change down the road, but that's not the way I'm going right now. Uh, I'm trying to lean out, try to get as, as efficient as possible. Um, I, I I dumped all my uh, Direct TV equipment out of here, and I had a uh, drawer. I'll show you here in a second. Um, so I kind of pushed in some more um, material and it leaves me more uh, drawers behind me here that are empty that I can use for either inventory, different types of tools, stuff like that, so I can be Johnny on the spot. So let's get, I'll show you real quick what I did. So this is still plumbing, that's still painting, and this one was direct TV. Now you can see it's my electrical. So we have our outlets, 1520. Uh, amp switches uh, outlet covers these are obviously all my regular single gain ones I use the most and then I just made it so I can just pull it out and then I've got my less used um, not as common uh, covers switches all that kind of stuff right there this is, fits right back in there I think slide back and forth if I need to uh, I don't have much double gain right now 
ra random stuff. You got your um, ceiling fan, uh, ceiling light boxes, and then you got your single game boxes, the ones that I use the most. So this is why, as you can see, I'll pull it out here some more. So, uh, so I got more. I got more of those, and those are what I use the most. So that's what instead of Direct TV, I put it in here, organized it, and that's what I have. So I'm trying to keep it really, really efficient, and uh, you know, just purging some stuff, if you will. So that's it. That's that's about it, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Um, have a great weekend.